So guys, uh, sorry once again. Uh, is this is the voice quality better now? What do you think? Is it better now? Yes, Ali, welcome here. Come another. Okay, so now you can hear me clearly, right? Uh, sorry for this trouble because this was, as I said, this is my first uh, uh, live video, so I wasn't sure which mic will work properly, and my laptop did not work, so I wasn't sure what to do. Anyways, uh, we have fixed an issue, as you know very well that I teach and preach. Uh, there are no problems in life. There are issues that can be resolved. And when we know that there's an issue, it is always resolvable. So anyways, um, based on on your interest, I would like you guys to fire your questions. If you have any questions regarding uh, jobs in uh, portfolio or regarding any other thing in your life or your uh, things that you want me to discuss about, uh, I will definitely uh do my best to give you the answer because as i as, as i've always told in my all my talks i don't believe in trying and i don't believe in problems that's true so we will not try we will not have a problem we will do it and we'll overcome any issues that we might have so yes guys uh, unless until you have a, if you don't have a question then i will ask you one question what is success? Can anybody tell me what is success? Uh, I want to hear your views. How do you define success? Okay. Why there is no response from inside? I'm trying from the last two years. Okay. Kamran had that. Kamran. Uh, I didn't get your question exactly. Uh, what do you mean by which from insight? What do you mean by insight? Uh, can you make it a little bit more clearer? What do you mean by insight? Are you talking about the the Facebook group that we have? Hi, lags. I welcome you here on the live chat. And uh, as I was just mentioning, open to all questions. So yes, Kamran, job sites. Okay, that's a very good question, Kamran. And I would like to ask you, uh, welcome Amir, uh, in the meantime, before uh, Dubizel, Gulf News, Kamran, where are you based? Let me ask you this question first. Where are you based? Okay. And many more. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. Hamad, welcome. So, yes, come on, uh, Ajman. Okay. And what what do you think, Kamran? Why are you not getting these uh, callbacks? 
is your cv properly made catered for every job that you are applying number 1 number 2 uh, welcome hafiz uh, uh, number 2 are you really applying for the jobs that you feel confident about or you're just throwing your cvs right left and center number 3 most of the online sites that you see uh, they are i wouldn't say most actually but some of the sites are in a you know sometimes they just like to gather cvs so that they build their database and when they go to the clients they can tell them that see we have such a big database of uh, hi ahmad how are you uh, we have such a big database of uh, of, of of clients uh, by the way very nice comment by lags here lags uh, I, i think it's a perfect comment mental block yes mental block is also another thing that you have alaikum assalam engineer zahran uh, just to continue on what we were discussing uh, on kamran's comment so uh, kamran uh, as i was mentioning although we have some good comments from uh, these guys here uh, but as i was mentioning that first of all prepare your cv your cv should be the best thing that you have to have because see if you cannot sell your own self you cannot sell anything else your cv should be really talking about you and it should interest the employer number 2 from uh, on these online things as i said that some of the agencies they are in the habit of collecting cv so that they can basically you know boast about um uh, okay come on you saying your cv show to many seniors and they said it's okay i'm following logistics job only uh unfortunately come on logistics is a profession here which is which there are many jobs currently uh, that uh, you know good jobs are not there however that is not a uh, show stopper i am not saying that your cv is not made properly let me ask you one question for each company that you apply do you really do some homework about that company what does company do what what does that company need what value you can add to that company have you ever done that homework exactly uh if you haven't done that homework then that means that you are shooting your uh, shooting in dark so you need to tailor your cv for each company that's that is very very important uh in the meantime hafiz jawad as as asking me what do i do uh hafiz i i do everything that you want to <laughs> okay uh, i mean basically i am a i am a life coach i am into retail business i am a retail consultant i am a cricket coach i am a career coach so i do help people in finding jobs etc i do it whatever i can uh just to make the ball rolling uh okay kamran as you mentioned not gone in that much to be deaf to be honest so exactly that is very very important if you don't go into that depth if you really don't analyze okay then definitely you are shooting in the dark because imagine somebody coming to you and telling you uh mr kamran i want to work for you and i know you are in logistics i know you have a very good logistics company i know xyz i know that your company does this i know but i also know that your company is looking for somebody in this area because that is a area of your weakness right so another person comes and says ah uh, yes uh, mr kamran i am here to uh, look for a job i saw your ad and i applied now of the two come on i want you to answer honestly of the two which one would be your best bet that's right of course the first one because you will feel that the first one is the person who is really prepared for the job he knows about what he's talking about your company he knows what he's talking about right that's correct so when you know that of course if you want to hire somebody like that you need to be like that yourself as well am i right yeah so yes yeah, so it is very easy for us to blame and as one of uh, as i think i guess lag said uh, that 
mental block we put this mental block oh you know i am not getting jobs oh market is down or oh, maybe i am not lucky there is nothing called luck my dear in this world trust me luck is equal to hard work all people you think they are lucky they all have done hard work at some point in time and that is being reaped after uh, and when we see that we see the results you know i was uh, just uh, listening to one talk of a company i uh, the the owner of the company started an uh, an it setup and he was really working hard and harder and harder he reached to a point where he did not know what to do and where to go from there then by a stroke of chance okay i would not say a chance he actually went into that uh, group of people whom he knew he can find he can talk to them regard you know about the investments and stuff and maybe they can he can gather some funds as he wanted some funds so he basically went into that group and there he met warren buffett and the rest is all history this guy is a billionaire now uh, so what i'm trying to say is for you to be lucky you have to do hard work we don't do that hard work once we don't do that we expect things to fall in our plate and if they don't we say oh maybe you know i was unlucky uh okay uh, sorry yes come on you're saying that i am not blaming anyone you're guiding perfectly there were some jobs which truly fitted me for me but still no response yes come on you need to change this trying thing first uh, i appreciate that you're not blaming anyone but what i'm saying is that if your effort see there's there's a very very uh, important point i want you to understand today if you keep on doing what you are doing if you keep on doing what you are doing things will not change you will get the same result every day so if you are getting the same result what do you need to change exactly your strategy if you don't change your strategy you will keep on getting this there is a principle in computers or i think in it is lifeo uh, gigo you know sorry garbage in garbage out so if you keep on throwing garbage the same place same day it won't go out you need to change your strategy so it's not about blaming anyone it is about strategy that's right you change your strategy to to see what you're doing wrong definitely your cv would be very good definitely you would have changed your cv i agree with you but is it exactly what the employer is looking for that's what my pay, uh, point is right so you need to alter the cv as per the job requirement and for as per the job requirement you need to first do research on the company so you need to find out what that company wants what that company is doing and once you have done that then you will be in a position to present yourself in a way and remember the top half of the cv is the one where you are selling yourself if you do not put your top half at, as the best half of your cv half the battle is lost my dear so the top half of your cv which is at, for example if i am not here uh, if i if i don't present myself nice here i don't whatever i do down doesn't matter so it has to be the top half of your cv okay uh, that is very very critical uh, we can have a separate discussion on a cv itself i mean it's a, i i've been giving talks on cv writing for the last 16 years so i can go on and on and on uh, unless or until somebody else wants to bring any any other discussion topic in discussion i am open to that uh, in the meantime especially lags you are uh, putting some very nice questions here so i want to ask you what is success welcome kamran and uh, as i said that i am open to any uh, if you want i can always help you out in uh, making improving your cv so yeah so the coming to the question guys what is success this is my favorite topic nowadays i i'm doing some research on on answering this question so what is success who would like to answer this question to me 
ओके उप्स सॉरी सॉरी मोबाइल फेल डाउन ओके डू यू नो I want to ask you one. Uh, if you don't want to answer that, uh, ask any the question or answer what is success, then I will tell you what is success to me. At least that's what I feel. Success is all about a balance. That's true. Success is balance. It's a win-win situation. Yes, lad. Like, that's also true. It's accomplishment. It's a mixture of a lot of things, but it has to be a balance, a win-win. Success cannot be you win and everybody else loses. That is not success. Then it is an imbalance, and whenever there is an imbalance, there are repercussions. So, success, wealth, for example. being rich do you think is being wealthy what do you think yes in uh, zahran achievement of your goal but at what cost that is important if you achieve your goal and a lot of other people uh, do not benefit from it then is that success not according to my observation not according to my study not according to my research everybody who has achieved success i mean let's go to that uh, let's go to the other p- uh, part of this one which was like what is the difference between wealth and being rich being wealthy and being rich you could be wealthy when you have good friends family life things exactly when you learn to be thankful to the gifts of god that is wealth money is one portion of that if you have only money which makes you rich maybe in the eyes of some it makes you successful is it success is it with that right balance are you letting things go off because of that that's right so success yes accomplishment of goals yes money yes it's a, it's a, it's a combination so that is why i say success is balance if this balance is out you flip if the balance is there you are successful because your successful people are those who take the whole or of all the people around them with them they don't let uh, they don't let you know people suffer because they want to be successful they can be rich but not successful they can be rich but not wealthy trust me on that i can show you many rich people who do not have life they want to enjoy yet they are considered successful but are they successful think about it that's true so we have discussed two things now guys any other question any other point you want to uh, bring in discussion i can i would like to see and uh, hear from you people if there's any point you want me to talk about or uh, as i said it could be uh, about the jobs it could be about uh, anything that is bothering you in life uh, let me ask you one question are you stressed is anybody here feeling that he is stressed he has stress in his life that's true stress what is stress and how do you get released how do you get the stress released relieved of it how do you get it you know i tell everybody one thing if tears can remove your stress cry to an extent where you flood the whole place with water but if tears cannot remove stress then enjoy the moment 
sleep over it attach right legs trust in god of course that is the key and let use that part that emotion of yours see stress is also an emotion anger is an emotion they are all emotions some emotions are positive some emotions are negative but they are yet still emotions so if negative emotion can be transformed into a positive emotion and emotions are at the end of the day energy the more positive energy flows around you the more you will get benefit right it's true so yeah so <laughs> going on to this point of stress who is there who feels stress oh that's interesting i am happy to find that none of my audience at the moment has felt stress but guys take it as a point stress is nothing but an emotion stress is nothing but an emotion now let me ask you one question can you control stress probably some of them some of you will say no Assalamu alaikum ali how are you beta uh, but can you control your emotions a lot of people say yes 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 i can true that's right so if you can control your emotions you can control your stress because it is an emotion trust me Okay Zaharan says how to be an entrepreneur or how to take first step over it what to do how to do <laughs> Zaharan you have asked my favorite question which I love to answer and I actually teach and preach you know the first step you need to do Have you ever, do you know Zaharan I want to ask I want you to answer this question do you know how to swim or have you taught anybody swimming or have you seen anybody being to Uh, yes, uh, Zahid, I'll take your question after this Saran's question. You can uh, put the question up, but I'll reply after I've replied to Saran. Uh, but before that, uh, yeah, going back to Saran, you know they don't teach those guys who do not or who are not thrown into the deep barely learn swimming. The best way to learn swimming is. go into the deep and often coaches after a certain time they just throw them so the first step you need to do zahran is to decide is to make up your mind number 2 you should be ready to face failure defeat bankruptcy it should not something that should be it not it should not be something that would scare you you should be able to face it and number 3 the most important have faith in you and have faith in allah or in god but have faith and trust in you whatever you will focus on the world is going to expand for you trust me whatever you will focus so if you start your business uh good night legs if you start your business with this thought it will work it will not work it will work it will not work it is the same way like if you are not sure that should you cross the road or not cross cross or not cross cross or not cross some car will come and hit you but if you decide or if you start your work your business your idea it has to work you know i have been bankrupt three times in my life and uh, just recently last week my retail business is closed uh, not because of me but because of my other partners uh, they have just uh, decided to work uh, somewhere else technically speaking i have no nothing now again do you think i am not doing anything yes i am going to start i have already started a new one I have already started a new one because I know I will never fail. There are no failures in life; it's always feedback. 
Good points, Maria. Uh, one needs to be determined and decisive as well. Yes, Maria, that's exactly what I was saying in the beginning uh, as uh, to Zahran, that take a decision and jump into it. If some the people who say, okay, I will do business and I will do job, I will do business and I will do job, no, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. You have to be in one boat and you have to be sure that is the boat which is going to take you to the other end of the river. Uh, Lex, I don't know if I'm brave or not, but I know one thing. I know I can do it. And if I can, all of you can. Trust me on this. If I can, all of you can. Because if one person, human being, can do anything, the whole humanity can do that. It's just a matter of having trust. It's like neurons, you know. Everybody has the same neurology. So if I can, you can. If you can, I can. So it all depends. It is all how we use that part. I hope, Zaran, I have given you some idea. Uh, it's, it's a long topic and long discussion. It's one of my favorites. Actually, I'm going to start a, you know, a regular program on, uh, on entrepreneurship as well. Uh, I will definitely be answering more questions. Unless until you have another question, then I would like to take Zahid's question. Zahid Ali, please better tell me your question. What did you want to ask? Are you still there, Zahid? In the meantime, Zaharan, you can... Uh, you can re-ask your question if there's anything else you want to add. Add, sorry, add. <laughs> See, I am also getting nervous now. <laughs> Not nervous. Just kidding, buddies. So, G. Uh, okay. Uh, but Zaran, did you get uh, an idea of what you need to do? Uh, no, Maria. Actually, uh, that's uh, something which I would disagree with. Uh, neurology does not differ it's the use see we all believe God is just right so if God is just he cannot make people with two different uh, neurologies so so everybody has a set number of neurons in the mind so neurology is same the mind is exactly almost the brain is part is almost the same it is us. Some of us use bigger portion. Some of us use smaller portion. Because the, li you know, where is the limitation? The limitation is in our own unconscious. I want to tell you something very interesting. Uh, uh, interesting thing is that while we are consciously taking decisions, we are probably using only, we are only using 5% of our mind. 95% of, of our conscious mind, 5%. 95% decisions are coming from our unconscious. So, a lot of limitations are our own self-created. We don't want to get out of them. Okay, Ali uh, Zahid is asking proverb, give respect and have respect. I am totally against this proverb. It may be for the past generation because nowadays nobody thinks like that. Very, very interesting questions, I And what makes you think like this, I that um, if you give respect, you don't, uh, you don't get respect. How do you get respect then? If I start abusing you right now, would you give me respect? No, right? But if I start treating you as my own, as somebody I really love and as somebody I really care for and I give you respect and I respect your opinion, I respect your ideas, I respect your thoughts. I, I, respect means an understanding or giving import, due importance to everybody around you or to the person around uh, who you are talking to. So that is called giving respect. It does respect does not giving respect does not mean that you make that person sit on the top of your head or you basically uh, you know buy him a Rolls Royce or, 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 or an expensive watch giving respect means giving him lending him your ears giving him true uh, yes Jora I, I agree with you respect has to be earned 
and earning is how you will earn you have to give then only you can earn right so you have to work hard towards it that's exactly what i'm trying my point is that you don't go out okay there are some exceptions and exceptions are always there in everything but in general if you go out and talk nicely to anybody it means you are giving him respect uh, ali uh, zahid does it make any sense or you still have any more confusion i can i can still talk about it because initially i thought this uh, live chat would uh, live talk would be only for uh, 30 minutes uh, which is almost over but i can continue if you have to uh, discuss any, if you want me to clarify it further Uh, in the meantime, Maria, uh, what you, Sami uh, Professor, how are you? Uh, what you were saying is exactly true. User has to be driven indeed, but this driving force has to come from within you, right? And you have to say enough is enough. Okay, Jan Girsha, if I'm implementing my ideas which does not suit me, I'm then. where i am then will it be lost loss of money and time or i should wait for it please guide okay jahangir basically what you are saying is uh, uh are you already doing a business sure uh, ali you can ask me questions uh, so yeah jangir sorry uh, faisal assalam alaikum from kuwait uh, in the meantime jangir um, are you already doing that idea or not because if you are doing it i am sure you would have done your homework you would have so uh, this, uh, found out if there is the need of it you would have done, done your numbers you would have made your feasibility you would have done all possible in your capacity that you could okay if you are willing to do if you have not done it as you mentioned now then i would say before you start your idea uh before you start your idea you must do your homework uh just one second jangir uh, faisal uh, this session is a generic talk that where i am learning from you guys and you we are having a talk discussion on initially we did a discussion on cv writing uh now and then it was an entrepreneurship and uh, then somebody else asked a couple of other questions so now we are talking about uh, jangi's question which is uh, he is willing to start an idea and what if it doesn't work so yeah so jangi first of all you need to do your homework secondly as i mentioned before to zahran if you start your idea or if you start your business with this thought in your mind it will not work trust me it will not work so your focus remember i have told this in my many videos whatever you focus in your mind it expands expand the whole universe will do that for you exactly you have completed your plan jangir and your homework excellent then it has to work have that belief and faith in you it has to work for no there is no other way it has to work dot bottom line so implement it and give yourself timeline najia sir beta mujhe charger cable lana white ne mobile ki so give yourself the time it has to work give yourself that confidence be sure yes jora that's true the ones who succeeded are the ones who took the risk but risk also has to be taken in a sensible way right so risk yes and then you have to have the senses of basically having doing your homework so you do take the risk but you also do your homework properly which is very 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 critical in the whole uh, whole scenario and faisal definitely you are more than welcome um, 
any uh, i think i've uh, jangir have you got an answer to your question assalam alaikum faisal so yeah jangir did you get an answer to your question if you can let me know assalam alaikum bilal how are you uh good to see so many friends around uh, so okay uh, zahid uh, you can come up with your qu- you can come through your question now um, put your question up uh, i think uh, either jangir is not available right now or oh, okay he got the answer thank you jangir uh, so yes the key is to success jangir is just do it and have belief and trust in you and faith in you and focus for success there is no room for an unfocusing on success and there is no room for it will not work but if you think it will not work it will not so the key is it has to work dot full stop bottom line it means you have to have trust in you it means you have to have faith in you and it means you should have your own homework uh, and if that is the case it will work okay uh, interesting question uh, faisal you are asking me you want to like to share something about nlp uh, faisal actually it is not an nlp session uh, however just to give you a brief as you would have been knowing NLP stands for neuro linguistic programming uh, neuro means brain linguistic means the language of the brain and programming is programming so by, by using NLP different techniques of NLP uh, we can reprogram a lot of things in our brains because everything we do everything we say is actually controlled by our brain the unconscious one which is the bigger size than the conscious one which has the bigger effect than the unconscious one remember the unconscious brain or the unconscious part of our is where our egos are unconscious is there to protect us unconscious loves us the most you know the most interesting thing i have heard from my uh, teachers as well as uh, some research that humans are born with two fears fear of height and fear of loud sounds any child for example if i shout loudly in your ears right now you will just jump out of your chairs because you want to protect these two are protection mechanisms and the unconscious mind protects us so unconscious mind stores memories unconscious mind stores our emotions unconscious mind stores uh, all the you know things that are happening around us so basically uh, through the techniques of nlp we can you know change these things or we can alter them assalam alaikum hafiz ji how are you uh, and, and as i said that this is just a, a, a session for general things so i wouldn't drag a lot on nlp but uh, yes if you want to know more i can do a separate session on nlp based uh, things in fact a lot of things that i do uh, my talks i am doing they are all based on and techniques of nlp uh, thank you faisal okay uh, friends i think uh, we were supposed to do a 30 minute session and so already 40 minutes have passed i mean for me i don't mind i can continue as long as you guys are enjoying but uh, otherwise i think we'll have we'll close this session here today and we can do another live uh, talk or you can put forward your questions to me or any topic you want me to discuss and talk about i will i can uh, i can keep continue i can continue doing videos on on those topics thank you very much hafiz bhai uh, your support and admiration is really appreciated all the time so assalam alaikum khurram jora i am not sure when the next session live is uh, but pro- most probably it will be next week because i won't be doing it on a regular basis uh, at least one, i'll i'll try to do it once a week but okay i'll do it once a week sorry not trying 
Uh, however, uh, like day before yesterday, I was supposed to do my session, but I had this some emergency, so I had to cancel it. But I think for now we can say it's next week, unless until there is some topics that or you know questions that you people uh, let me know, and I can uh, I can I can do sessions specifically for that as well. Uh, otherwise, it will be once a week. Assalamu alaikum, Sakib. So yeah, thank you very much, everyone, for attending this session. I hope. Uh, in fact, for me, I learned a lot of good questions. I found a lot of nice people around me, and I enjoyed uh, having a session with you. So, thank you once again, and uh, inshallah, see you soon. I'll let you know when my next session is. Uh, keep following it up on the Facebook as well. Okay, guys, see you. Bye, everybody. Thank you very much. Welcome Faisal, welcome, bye, Assalamu Alaikum.